Hey guys, I'm Cher Martinetti with Sci-Fi Fangirls, and we're hanging out with one of my favorite people, Yatidi Badaki from American Gods. You're one of my favorite people too, so I'm glad you said that. So you're just being nice. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is true, this is true. I know you're a huge nerd, which is a compliment. Thank you. And with all the movies and everything that are coming out, we see we're finally like getting like Black Panther, and we're finally getting Wonder Woman and yeah. Captain Marvel. Yeah. What is the first time that you can remember feeling at any age when you were watching any cartoon or a movie or TV show or even reading something that you felt recognized or seen? Right. Oh, there, I mean, there are a couple. I mean, how, okay. how long do how long do we have? As long as you want. <laughs> but you know how big of a TNG fan I am. Yes. And uh, you know, I had a special place in my heart for Data and Captain Picard. Um, but Guinan, I I remember seeing Guinan on there and going, there she is, in space, being fabulous and amazing and all knowing. Um, and I was absolutely blown away by that. Then there was also, of course, you got to go back to fantasy and uh, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Grace Jones, how amazing. Grace Jones, I don't think enough people talk about Grace oh Jones. My she is, she's like, you know how a lot of people obviously felt Bowie was like this otherworldly, but right. Grace Jones right. She, is right there with him. She is incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible, and she was dark and fierce and she was unapologetic and I just I, I remember seeing her in that film and, and seeing in this fantasy world and and there was this magnificent magnificent dark skinned woman on the screen um so Grace and Jones sexy. Is, and sexy yeah and I, I think we were talking to, uh, you know we talk a little bit about I find fascinating and you bring up Bowie this yeah. kind of masculine feminine uh that marriage of the two and there's something incredibly uh, fascinating about that and incredibly sexy about that. And Grace Jones just had it all. She does. And she has that masculine, feminine. Yeah. It's like, same thing with Bowie. It's like they, yeah. def they defy any type of gender norms or expectations. Right, right. Which is incredibly appealing. Because I think it's freeing, too. It gives yeah. us permission to, to just be not based on any kind of box or idea, yeah. but just to be yourself in whatever way that is. So yeah, Grace Jones was definitely a huge influence. And then as far as reading, um, I think you all already know what a big dark tower fan I am. Yes. And so that character, Susanna Dean, who first we meet as Detta Odetta in two parts of herself, and then, uh, and finally, not to ruin it for anyone, but <laughs> when finally facing herself, she becomes whole. And I remember that was really definitive for me. Uh, it was, uh, you know, the, the first time I remember being uh, really reflexive, uh, reflective, sorry, also reflexive, <laughs> <laughs> but really reflective oh. on the different sides of myself and, and, and who I was as an individual. And, and it's part of her story, the experience of, of being a woman of color in um, the United States through through the 60s. Yeah. So there's a lot that, that came into play there. So she was, she was an incredible character. And she's one that's always stuck with me. If you could play any character in science fiction, fantasy, horror, anybody. Yeah, yeah, it would be Susanna Dean. <laughs> <laughs> she literally encompasses all sides. I think we keep on coming back to this, you know, yeah. uh, different facets of self. I find so fascinating. And so, um, Again, not to do too many spoilers, but there's literally a, two sides of herself that she does not know. Um, and, they're, and they're so far removed. It, and I've always found that really, really fascinating. And as an actor, it, the idea of getting to play with that yeah. has always been fascinating to me as well. Now, we also know Storm. <laughs> I Which, mean, how does she not have her own movie yet? She should absolutely have a solo movie. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the, the Saturday morning cartoons where the, the X-Men and yeah. that storm? And she was just, um, she was just powerful, fascinating. Again, someone that I couldn't take my eye off of and someone that I identified with. Um, so I would absolutely, oh my goodness. It, and I never get to use my grad school fighting skills. Like all the boys get to do it in Shakespeare and all of that. Yeah. Um, 
I can fight y'all. <laughs> so we need to find a project for you where yeah. you get to use your fighting skills. Yes, please. And be just like a badass, multi-faceted yes. superhero. That sounds great. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. You're going to put it out into the universe. Okay. It'll happen. Okay. Um, I know you and I were talking before about Battlestar Galactica because we're both big BSG fans. Yes. <laughs> so what was your favorite episode of Battlestar Galactica. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh, I can't remember the title of it, but it's the one where they have the where they have the fights. Unfinished Business. Unfinished Business. I'm like, that of course I know it. the name of it. Are you kidding? It was. I can tell you minute by minute of that episode. <laughs> it's my favorite episode, it too. It was incredible. I mean, it was primal. It was... Uh, and first off, just a big shout out to BSG in general because I think it kind of ushered in this era of genre TV that that we live in. That's that's you know award winning and yay yeah. things like Logan getting uh, a nomination an Oscar nom yeah. for uh, Oscars. I think BSG really ushered in uh, this this new acceptance of a genre because it was just gritty drama that dealt with with human interaction and human uh, connection, although I guess they're not human. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Some of them are. Some of them are. Starbucks my girl. She's my spirit animal. Um, yeah, I always say I wanted to be her and kind of wanted to be with her, too. I, I was trying to figure yeah. out which one exactly. Um, but I, I don't remember before that ever seeing a character um, portrayed that way. A, yeah. a woman just yeah. um, who's, again, allowed to... Uh, completely possess all aspects of herself. Yeah, so. like unapologetically. Unapologetic. Oh, Starbuck was yeah. amazing. She's a boss. I love her. <laughs> what was your favorite? Episode? My favorite <laughs> unfinished business is unfinished definitely business is for the like, same exact reason. Because yeah. it's like they're beating the crap out of each other, but it's like it's the same emotions. You could feel it right. that would be behind like crazy sex. <laughs> but here's the thing: it worked in that world. Yeah, because men and women were absolutely equal. Yeah. And I feel, I mean, that was part of the brilliance of it. And in, um, in any other kind of iteration where there wasn't that absolute equality between men and women, it might have gotten a little odd. But in that world where, you know, the president of the colonies mm -hmm. is a woman, you have women in every aspect of uh, power position. Yeah. When they then faced off in the ring, they were absolute equals, and that that was part of the brilliance just the fact that, that they were allowed to face off in the ring. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think is a big deal. And it wasn't a, it wasn't even an issue in that world um, because it was the norm. So yeah, no BSG will always have a special place in my heart. What are a couple of things that you're looking forward to that are coming out this year? Uh, you mentioned one, uh, Black Panther. Black Panther. I can't even say it. I'm getting the clip. <laughs> Black Panther. Do you know how happy I was when I saw that it broke the record for the fastest sold out? <sighs> like, but Pre, that goes to yeah. tell you, like, there's a huge demographic that's so underrepresented. Yeah. And it's when they finally get to see themselves, like, that has a huge impact. And not just on kids, it has an enormous impact on right. kids. But I think with adults, it speaks to the kids and us that, like, Oh, if you felt like you never got to see yourself as a kid, and right. it's like now this is happening. Well, you get tearful. I well, not okay. I'll get personal. I got tearful. Yeah. Um, and and to see <laughs> even uh, that little snippet of deny just with the spear, and I, it was powerful. It was everything that I wanted and didn't even know <laughs> that I wanted. Um, representation absolutely matters. You. It have gone so long not seeing yourself, and I put it that way so I don't get all emotional about it, yeah. but go so long without seeing yourself and maybe getting quick glimpses here and there by those wonderful women who have come before, but to see a whole world populated, yeah, um, to see all these women come into formation, it's powerful, and people want to see, and not, you know, not just me. I mean, you're excited about Black yeah. Panther. Um, everyone I've spoken to is excited about it. Um, I, I think it's definitely breaking down the narrative of, oh, no, people don't you know, necessarily want to see it. I think we can see now that's absolutely untrue. Right. Everybody wants to see full-on representation in all areas. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, didn't mean to get on the soapbox no, with that. No, I want you to. But <laughs> what, so besides Black Panther, what else are you yeah. looking forward to seeing this year? Ooh, okay. I'm looking forward to Altered Carbon. Okay. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what's you know what they have to bring up there. Pretty much everything sci-fi and fantasy. I'm okay. going You're to go check all of I'm, it. I'm just going to go You're check it out. You're just excited for every single thing. I'm just going to go check it out, and then we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. But I'm always excited. But top of the list, Black Panther. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's historic. It already is iconic. Just um, the fact that it got made, yeah. Just the fact that it got made. Just the fact that it's out there. Just the fact that we're having conversations about this. And that it's, yeah, it has taken this long, but it's happening. It's happening. And you can feel the excitement in the air. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's... <laughs> I agree with all of that. Oh my god, I don't know if you're like cosine. I'm like cosine. Check. You're allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so thank you for spending some time with oh. us and just to talk about Geek Girl stuff with me. Oh, thank you. And um, I'm really looking forward to the next season of American Gods. Oh, so am I. <laughs> it's quite the impressive cast you got there. Yeah, we've been, <laughs> we've been incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. Do you have any idea what's going to come up in season two? Uh, well, I'd be, you know, having Men in Black show up if I mentioned any. <laughs> you don't say, can't see anyone like, around, nah. do you? I said nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a fun time. Okay, good. <laughs> then that's it. That's all I need to know. Yeah.